The development you predicted in the Kastner case happened unexpectedly. Please come back immediately. How can it be unexpected if I have predicted it? Poirot, my friend, is that you? <laughs> Poirot, it is I, Book. Poirot, is it truly you, my friend? Book, it is indeed me. What brings you so far from home? A little affair in Syria. An affair of the heart? No, no. A modest affair of recovering stolen artifacts. But now I am summoned home to England and must leave immediately. This evening? You travel on the Orient Express, I hope. I have made no arrangements yet, as I just learned that an emergency has arisen, and I must return to England immediately. Very well. It will be my pleasure to secure you a sleeper on the Orient Express. If the director of the line insists, I accept with pleasure. And we'll dine together, for I too depart this afternoon. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. I'll have the hotel transfer our luggage. Excuse me, sir. You are the director of the line? The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if she may keep her minor in her compartment on the train. Uh, good morning, Princess. It is an honor to welcome you aboard. There is absolutely no problem for your pet. You will ask about his food? Oh, yes. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if there is food for minors on board. Insects? Uh, small amphibians? Baby rodents? Baby rodents? Of course, Princess. Don't worry. Your bird will be fed as you demand. You there, desk clerk. One moment, sir. Listen to me. Call the police. My train ticket has been stolen. Stolen? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You travel by the Orient Express, monsieur? Arbuthnot. Captain Archibald Arbuthnot. Formerly British Army, now retired. And yes, I'm taking the Orient Express to Paris. But what business is that of yours? My name is Book. I am the director of the line at your service. And perhaps this gentleman could assist you. He is Hercule Poirot. I... oh. Uh, but I must make that train. <laughs> A train ticket. Yesterday I recovered artifacts worth several millions. Please, my friend. It's not just any ticket. It's an Orient Express ticket. Very well. I will investigate. Thank you, Poirot. I will arrange a car to Sekechi station for us. How do you know your ticket has been stolen, monsieur? I put it on a table in my room. I came down here to breakfast, and when I got back, my ticket was gone, and other things were on the floor, as if they'd been tossed about. Hello, monsieur. I suggest we begin in your room. Will you lead the way? That's the right answer.
Floor, Captain Arbuthnot? Fourth floor. Oh, one mystery solved. I suppose I can exercise my powers of observation while we wait. My little grey cells did not let me down. My room's along here, 411. In a hotel of this quality, a thief. Come on, come on, don't dawdle. It'll be a disaster if I miss that train. You have locked the door, monsieur? Naturally. This is a foreign country. You have the key card? Of course. We will enter. The lock has not been tampered with. Hmm. Water with traces of soap. The water is scented. A perfume bottle, empty, suggestive. Another delightful trophy for my collection. This earring, it is not the first time I've seen it, but where? This earring, it is not... Fact sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. A stamped reservation for the Bosphorus Ferry. A brochure for this fascinating city. You can never have too many of these.
a conspicuous gallantry cross for meritorious service in Iraq. Yet he only retired as a captain. He conspired. He only. A list of travel expenses. But how did these papers end up on the floor? Four floors. It's impossible for a thief to have exited through the window. Bed is skillfully made. The wallet is somewhat worn. It contains just over two hundred dollars and the usual cards. That was easy. Apparently empty. I will leave it for the moment. How long were you at breakfast, Captain? A half an hour or so. Just a roll and some coffee. How long were you at breakfast? A half an hour or so. Brief word, sir. I will give you two brief words. Go away. Monsieur. I've been traveling all night from New York. Must I call the management? Pardon, monsieur. I do not believe we have awakened a thief. Why was there an earring in your room? An earring? A previous guest, I suspect. I don't wear them. Did you leave the window open? No. That must be how the thief escaped. I think not. Unless the thief had wings. The bed is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. We.
think, Poirot, that is not a good answer. This is wrong, but I'm never far from the truth. No, 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 not good. The wind probably blew the papers on the floor as it came in through the window. Moreover, the door is closed, and I found an earring on the bedside table. The captain invited a woman into his room. Maybe she is our culprit. Et voilà. That was easy. Very well, I choose to go this way. Captain Arbuthnot, I have examined your room. Much was revealed, possibly more than you expected. Rest assured, we will soon find your ticket. It's about bloody time. I have a train to catch. As do I. You are traveling on the Orient Express? We? Oui. If you will be good enough to answer a few questions, we may both make our train. Ask away. Please, give me an account of your movements yesterday. I spent most of my day in Istanbul, sightseeing. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key. I spent the night alone. I had no visitors in my room. Have you told me the entire truth, Captain Arbuthnot? Of course. I want you to find my ticket. Can you explain the earring I found on the bedside table? An earring? Ah, uh, uh, yes, uh, forgive me, Mr. Poirot. I had some business correspondence that wanted answering. The hotel provides help for business travelers. They sent up a secretary. I dictated a letter and she mailed it for me. I hadn't noticed that she had lost an earring. And when did you invite this, uh... Secretary, this woman may be the thief we are looking for. That was yesterday evening. My ticket was still there when I went down to breakfast. She can't have taken it. Hmm, I see. Never mind. It is easily checked. And uh, there was no other person in your room? No, I swear there wasn't. Ah, well, never mind. If it is not her, there is only one option left. Fine. Please finish your job quickly. I'll be downstairs in the lobby.
The Hotel Tocat Leon is a perfect prelude for my journey. Pardon, Monsieur. May I inquire when the staff begins cleaning the rooms? Every morning at breakfast time, sir. After making certain there are no guests in the room, of course. May I speak with the chambermaid who cleaned room 411 this morning? I hope you don't think that one of our staff stole the ticket. No, 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 no. Do not distress yourself. We seek only information. I will summon her at once. Oh, I'd ask her to bring her laundry cart. Poirot is not going to touch the dirty laundry. Do not be frightened, mademoiselle. Did you clean room 411 this morning? Room 411? Yes, that is one of mine. Did you see a ticket on the desk when you entered the room? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice a ticket. There was a wallet, but of course I did not touch it. Did you open the window? Yes, we always air the rooms. Oh, but I forgot to close the window. While I was making the bed, the person from next door was pounding on the wall. I wondered if he needed assistance. I tossed the dirty sheets in my cart, quickly finished mopping and went to see, but it was nothing. But I'm afraid I left the window open. I'm so sorry. The window left open, papers scattered on the floor. The chambermaid cleaning the room. I believe I can now visualize what happened. I must admit I'm not right this time. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to look in the sheets from room 411? And so the missing train ticket completes its strange journey. An open window, a laundry cart, and an annoying neighbor. But chance is the only guilty party in this dark mystery. Mr. Poirot, I apologize. I believe my concern got the better of me, and I forgot myself. Thank you. It was a case of great magnitude. I'm glad I was up to the challenge. And that, I think, is that. Our bags are all packed. I have my ticket and papers. If you give me yours, I'll hang on to mine. But as your secretary, 
As my secretary, you see to the bags, Hector. Yes. Yes, sir. That man, I have a curious impression of him. As if I were observing a wild animal, uncaged. We must leave for the station. Our bags are in the taxi. Did you find the ticket? It was a case most difficult, but somehow Hercule Poirot managed. I knew you could do it. Now we can sit back and enjoy a relaxing train ride.